Welcome back everyone, it is Dhruv Bass here and in this video I'll be showing you how we can make our Telegram questions much more complex. So in the previous video I'd shown you how we can have an end-to-end -end chain where we're able to send a message from our phone and we're able to get the AI agent to process that message and actually send a response back that is visible from our phone. So that is, you know, in my opinion, the first time I did that, that blew my mind <laughs> that I'm actually able to create a bot that easily and uh, have it sending messages and accepting messages uh, from my phone. Now, there is an issue with this, and let me show you what that issue is. So if I go and do test workflow, and let me come over here and I'm going to ask it, what are the grocery products that you have in stock? Not a complex question, but let's take a look at what it does. All right, so fingers crossed this broke down. All right, fantastic. So what is the issue that we're getting here? If I double click into this, you can see that it says bad request can't parse entities. So let me go and click on this one over here gives you the same exact uh, sort of description. And the issue that is happening over here is that the output that we get from our AI agent happens to be in Markdown. And Markdown, if you guys are not familiar with it, is a language or is a way of outputting certain characters alongside the actual data you want to display. And they allow the browser or the application that's displaying that text to add some kind of formatting. So things like these asterisks, or you know, sometimes you have you know, two asterisks by uh, you know surrounding a word, for example. It's not here in this case, but in many other situations, uh, you know, it usually has that information. But if you have that, you know, maybe that means that this text is going to be bolded. Something like this means that you're going to have a bullet point, so on and so on. Now, the issue that Telegram is having is that it is not able to read this because A, we have not specified the parse mode to be markdown, and B, because the markdown that our AI agent produces is not the same kind of markdown that Telegram expects. So even if I make this markdown legacy, it will work in some examples, but it will break down in other examples. To, so to solve this issue, what we have to do is we actually have to make our parse mode in HTML. And then we have to go back over to our AI agent. So inside our AI agent, we're going to add a section here, which is going to tell us that we have to use HTML in your response, no markdown. And there's also one more requirement and only use the following HTML tags. So Telegram has another sort of stipulation and that is that you can only utilize the following tags and they happen to be these over here. We can ignore the, uh, the tag over here. You don't really need to worry about that, but these are the main important tags that we're able to utilize. So I'm just going to paste this here, and then that should take care of creating our output, not in this format, but in HTML format. And that HTML format is then going to be sent over to our Telegram node, which is then going to parse that HTML and be able to output the response from the AI agent in the correct way. So let's test this out. I'm going to save this and let me just reload this. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to do test to workflow. And this time I'm going to basically copy paste the same question. And fantastic, so that actually ends up working. So we have the following 
items that are in stock. Okay, so let me get back over here and let's see what's going on. So this time around, what's happening is we have our data that was outputted from the AI agent in HTML format. So we have the B tags over here. So this is very nice. It actually ended up creating our output exactly as we wanted, which is good. So that's a quick video on how to use prompt engineering inside our AI agent to produce output that is exactly what is expected by our nodes. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to be continuing down the process of making our AI agent more multi-channel because currently we are only able to send and receive messages via Telegram. The chat message route is no longer active. So with that, thank you so much for joining here. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description to get more resources. If you are a business owner and want to implement AI or automation into your business, you can reach out to us and I'll be happy to chat with you. Thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video.